Hello. Welcome to a quick comparison of sorry, just see, of the Booga Mouse versus the G203. And then I'm going to go on a bit of a rant at the end of this video. So, shape wise, so click wise, the G203 has really well tangent clicks. A little bit of pre travel, a bit of post travel. Pretty tactile, pretty good, pretty good mouse click. Booga Mouse, pretty good out of blocks. Box. They sound a bit stiff and have a good amount of pre travel. This is post travel. They aren't bad clicks, but a D203 certainly has better clicks. Sensor wise, well, D203 has a flawless sensor. Editor's note um, I said that the D203 had a flawless sensor. The Prodigy does. The Light Sync technically doesn't, but the Light Sync sensor is not going to spit out, so it's still a better sensor than the Booga Mouse. And the Booga Mouse just does not. Uh, I mean, this has a better sensor. Um, also, this actually has really low LED. This has some of the highest LED I've ever used on any mouse. Also, it's like doesn't like cut off like. Um, scroll wheel wise, from personal preference, this is a bit of a scratchy scroll wheel. And a G203 has a bit sounds like a productivity scroll wheel, which is not a bad thing. Side button wise, G203 is pretty good side button. Google mouse, has a ton of pre and post trials, especially on the bottom one, and they have a lot of sort of reverb and they kind of are binding up and hard to press in. Not really sure why. I'm not mistaken, in Fortnite, you know, Booga's a Fortnite player side, but it's are really aborted. These are horrible. Um, build quality wise, oh. I'd say these are a bit comparable, but nah, not really. G203 wins. Cable, eh. That's, I said the Booga Mouse won originally, but. G203 cable, although it could get more annoyed um, in terms of the flexibility, the G203 cable is better. Um, shape wise, well, the G. Um, Booga Mouse is a G903 clone compared to the G203, which makes this mouse just absolutely massive. Just big chungus. Next to the Model D. The Model D does not look very big next to this. Um, and the Model D is not a small mouse. Actually, the Model D always looks big. I don't know why it's not. Um, this mouse is really flat, though. And shape-wise, uh, the G203 is going to work out better from this build. RGB-wise, G203 wins. Feet-wise, G203 wins. And in conclusion, um, and the G203 is also lighter. In fact, I do not believe there's a single category where the Booga Mouse wins, um, based on what I was going through. <laughs> so, yeah, the G203 is basically better in almost every way. And then I'm going to go on a rant. So, I know I've been doing cheap mice reviews, mostly because, well, I'm not exactly rich, and so this is all I can... Okay, I guess... This is all I can afford. Well, that's, you know, kind of dumb, dude. I have, like, hundreds of dollars in my bank accounts. <laughs> but, um... So, but I did want to find a cheap mouse that didn't suck. But the thing is, if you have the money, if you have, like, 30 bucks buy a G203, then don't buy this. Like, just get the G203. It's going to be a lot better. This mouse wins in every conceivable way. This mouse is not going to be... And this mouse should not, but the thing is, this mouse is also a third of the price of the G203. And an MSRP, this is it's cost four times less. The fact that it's not, I mean, if, I mean, it gets completely beaten, yes, but it's not like, I don't think there's a single category where it's completely terrible except for feet. And even then, most of that suited the metal plate on the bottom you could remove, although it could make the sensor worse. So, but I just do not think that cheap mice are good value. 
I mean, especially one like this. You're bet you're better off if you have the money to just get um whatever cheap mouse. I have some suggestions. Um, I'm just gonna go search some up. Um, you can get Darpoon Pro for twenty four dollars. That's a good one. You can get the Rival Three for twenty twenty nine dollars. You can get the the two hundred three for thirty dollars and the Death Adder Essential. You can also get for thirty dollars. And a Viper Mini you can also get for thirty dollars if you want that. And if you have to go even cheaper than that, well, um, go to Amazon Warehouse and just look through and see what good deals you can get there. Um, in terms of giving me mice, uh, like genuinely. We'll just go look here and see what we can find. So Viper Mini for twenty-one dollars, pretty good. D203 for twenty-four dollars. That's new. Um, you can get uh, boy, you can get a um, Burst Pro for twenty-seven dollars, a uh, Rival Three for twenty-two dollars, Death Adder Essential. Get a Red Dragon M602, which is honestly probably better than this, for like 14, 15 bucks. And so yeah, for double the money, you get a lot. You probably will get a much better mouse. Now that doesn't mean, and I know someone's gonna take this and be like, "Wow, so you hate people who don't have money?" No, I just think simply this is a bad value compared to this. Value-wise, you, you this is better at like thirty dollars, which is what it sells for usually. I mean, this is ultimately cheaper, but this is a better value. I don't know if I'd say this is the best value mouse on the market. I'd probably be the Viper Mini, but you can you can make up that decision yourself. But if you are going to buy a cheap mice. Uh, mouse, I mean, do keep in mind that you're not going to get something that's super amazing compared to just, um, like, you know, your name brand gaming mouse. Just, so yeah, just keep that in mind. That That's all I want. So I don't, I don't want anyone being like, oh, this is, this beats out the G203 or it's better than that. Or, um, at $10, just like not overlooking any, you know, just overlooking every single flaw, just suggesting the crap out of this. Yeah, no. Don't do that.